Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, I'm moving my lips, but I'm just not saying anything. I don't know if I really have anything important to say anyway. This isn't a video. It's an animated GIF, a single file with a series of frames spliced together and set to loop forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And I made this animated GIF in like a minute using nothing more than my webcam and some software that I found online and it's free. And it'll work on Mac OS X, on Windows, and on Linux because it's an Adobe Air app. If you want to download it right now, just head over to the URL that sbushfan11 just typed in, go.tagjag.com slash cam to GIF, just like that, and you'll be uh, prompted to download and install it. If you don't already have the Air uh, platform or framework installed, it's really easy to do, and you'll want to do it because I'm guessing you're going to come up with crazy animated images on your own. This isn't the only one I've done. Uh, of course, I mean, over the years. I remember the first animated GIF I ever saw. It was insane. It was like years ago. I think that was back in the day uh, that all hyperlinks on the web were blue. It was crazy. Back, way back when. So I'll zoom out because I had, I'd zoomed in right there to bring that image full screen. And we're looking right now at the webcam to GIF converter. And it's quite simple, really. On the left side, and I'll, I guess I can zoom in here and show you. On the left side, you've got the live preview from the webcam. On the right side, you've got the way to browse the images that you've taken in the series. Uh, you can choose how many times it'll loop, or you can choose infinite. Uh, you can set the, high, uh, the quality from high to low, set the image size to, well, whatever you want. I would suggest a smaller image size, like 320 by 240. And in fact, that's what I'm going to set it at. Oh, set it out right now here. 320, 240, and then uh, when I start snapping or captures, and I'm going to zoom out again so that I can I can click it. Well, actually, I don't think I need to zoom out. I want to make sure I can see a live preview of myself, and then you'll see the images pop up over here. Uh, I can maneuver around, uh, change the frame delays, clear the frames, delete one frame out of the series or whatever. And all I'm going to do um, is I'm going to do a I'm going to do a simple wave. So it's going to be me, and I'm going to take, you know, if you've ever done stop motion animation or if you're familiar with the concept, you take one frame, snap, move it a little, 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 snap. That's basically what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it in such a way so that it's going to loop. So I'm going to have to go, like, back and forth just once, and then it'll loop back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So that's what we're going to attempt to do, and with any luck, this will work. Like I said, I've created several of them in this particular program. I, are you guys trying this now? Are you, have you downloaded it? Are you trying it on your own? I'm guessing. That's one of the reasons why the chat's so quiet. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get the hand in position. I'm going to get myself in position here. And hopefully this will be natural, staring into the camera. Capture image. Move, capture, move, capture, move, capture. There you go. Nice and simple. Okay, so I think I've got it. 15 frames. Uh, let's press play. Change the frame, speed up the frame delay. And look at that. It's a waving Chris. Now, of course, my mouth is moving because I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to talk you through as I'm doing it. Uh, but there I am waving. That's. It's just looping. I'm just going to do that forever. It's easy to do, and it's fun. The crazy thing is, is it's not a video. Again, it's going to be a GIF. It's going to have these images spliced and mashed together, and then you can take this, you can upload it to the web, you can send it to somebody if you wanted to. Uh, granted, the, the, the larger the, the image, uh, then of course the, the, the longer it's going to take. In fact, uh, this one may be megabytes in size. It's just this small 240 uh, by 320 image that uh, I've created. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I, well, I think it's a lot of fun to do. That's just me. And since it, it's a cross-platform application and it involves the webcam and it's free, I figure why not do a video about it? You know what I'm saying? Well, hopefully you do. My email address is chris at Maybe you know of other cool cross-platform apps 
that I could take a look at, possibly share with the rest of the community, drop me a line. Of course, you're also welcome to stop by our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Maybe even upload your own animated images there if you're so inclined. And you're also welcome to stop by the live video feed to see what's going on here. We've got the chat room that's integrated within this particular, well, video window thing. See, it's, it's this whole community experience that uh, we've got going on. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.